window with my rifle in there. What's that? They've already deployed, I think, two different sets of, of uh, stop sticks, they call them. Now, the other two places that they deployed these at, he was able to squirt by, I think, one time on the right side and one time on the left side. Again, this is a patrol car that they put a, um, a person in handcuffs. He was in the back seat of the patrol car while they were continuing to do the remainder of their investigation, I guess. And nobody was in the car, so he basically hopped in the front seat and started driving. Uh, the, the entire episode up to that point, I'm not going to show it all because it's kind of, well, it's not, not too long. It looks good. It's ran really well. This person does a really nice, uh, what do they call that, when they hit the back of the car and spin the, the bad guy out. Uh, a pit maneuver. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty nice. And then there was another car right behind of it uh, and basically pinned him in there. And uh, they got him out nice and easy, checked him. Um, no, they didn't rough him up at all. Uh, it was a really good arrest. And then they put this guy in the back seat. Now, I'm, I'm, I don't know whose car this is that he stole, but th there should have been some type of precaution here, I think. Um, I also thought about this. What happens... Like when, like, you know, somebody's, somebody's car gets stolen, they used to have this system on called OnStar, and you could let OnStar know my car's been stolen, and they would lock the doors so the guy couldn't get out. He could drive around, but he couldn't get out. There was even a, a story where I heard they could actually shut the car down. And why don't they have that on a patrol car? That's crazy. Anyway, this criminal hops in here, starts driving, going a billion miles an hour, has already gotten by two zip strips, and this is what happens next. And this is where, I mean... When, when I say it, it falls apart, this arrest sort of falls apart, it, it fell apart a long ago, but this is when it gets really, really bad. Am I taking this? Stop. No, Stop sticks, they call them. Okay. You want me to take this? Okay. Switch, Candy. I don't have the Where's the keys? I don't have the Good sticks. We got it. You got the keys in it. So here it is. Look. There it is. Uh oh. Good sticks. We got it. Oh. My. Oh my freaking God. What the hell was that? Okay, so I'm going to rewind it a little bit and see if I can uh, analyze this a little bit better. This is a strange setup for me, man. Okay, so you got your zip sticks. You're ready to go with them. You got the keys in it. Good sticks. We got it. They are. Okay, so I see a metal railing to the left. I see a metal railing to the right. Not a bad place to deploy them because he really can't. He can't go off road and get away from them. But this is really freaking odd. What do you think happens after he runs over those those zips, or whatever they call them, stop sticks? What do you think happens? Most of the time, the car goes out of control. So would you want to put civilian traffic in a line stopped right here after the zip strips? Or would you want to get them off the fucking road, or have them turn around, or do anything other than be right here? This is the worst place in the world to put civilian traffic, by the way. Okay, here he comes. Deployed. Okay. How many cars are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, these could be all people that volunteered. You know, hey, the, the metal railing runs out right here, so I need you guys to volunteer to sit here and get run over in case this guy gets away. Now, he can't avoid this too well. He can a little bit. But if I'm a cop and I'm using civilian traffic, now let's say these are real civilians, not just off uh, part-time cops, whatever the case, legitimately civilian traffic. If I've got them lined up so that here I'm driving, I mean, I'm, I'm not driving, but this bad guy's driving, he sees the zip strips and he goes, oh, I'm going to go this way because I don't want to hit the cop car. But then he sees these, these civilian traffics here and he goes, oh, I can't go that way. What way do I go? And he gets confused and he wrecks and whatever. I'm not putting civilian traffic in harm's way like this. There's no way. You guys... 
I can't. I hope to God these are police officers that that volunteer to put their cars there because this guy or whoever set this up, I'm not liking this setup at all. This is dangerous as hell. So he can't go right because he's going to hit this police car. He can go left, then he might hit this line of traffic, and it's going very fast. He doesn't see it till the last minute, so he hits it. And again, look, what do you think is going to happen after he hits this zip strip? You think he's just going to keep driving straight like there's no tomorrow? You think he goes right? Hopefully. But, but what if he goes left? He's going like 100 mile, 130 mile an hour. This is horrible. So he hits it. His tires are blown out. He has no control. He's already going to be past the police car before he really starts losing it. And I don't think these are police vehicles. As a matter of fact, I think this is the vehicle that he hits right here. And thankfully, because he doesn't hit a car, he hits a truck with a bed, a very big bed on it, uh, 18-wheeler. So, uh, thankfully that happened. <laughs> here he is. Imagine if you would have hit that car, that car. What about this little Prius here? He would have blown that thing in half. <laughs> and once you're here, you know you, you, you can't. There's, there's no hope. And he hits it right in the perfect spot. This guy's okay. He's not hurt. And he hits it right about here. All this stuff gets goes flying. It's amazing how destructive this accident was. And he's been driving for a while. I mean, it's time. It's time. But, you know, we got to stop this guy. We got, we got to stop this guy. Oh, you got the keys in it? This is after. Good sticks. We got it. You got the keys in it? Hold it. Good sticks. We got it. Wow. You alright, sir? Yeah. You alright? Yeah, just charge me. Fuck it. So it's hard to see because this guy's running, but I'm in a closet. That's the vehicle that he hit. Remember, there was a bunch of vehicles in front of this guy. And look what happened to this bed of this truck. I mean, that's a that's a heavy, that's a heavy duty truck right there. He launched that thing. I don't know what all this is. Probably uh, uh, oil, gas, tar, debris. He's He looks like a plainclothes cop, right? Got a weapon on him, I think. He, I think, also is a plainclothes cop. He's in jeans and his, you know, t-shirt. <laughs> this guy, no idea. Maybe a maybe a fire guy, fire and rescue guy. Got had his had his jacket in the back seat. Decided to put it on. This guy looks like a plain clothes. This guy looks like an arm duty. Um, no doubt. No doubt. They we got any more fire extinguishers? Let's get them. No doubt they called in the crew for this. They just, hey, just come out here and help us out. But I'm still confused. I'm very confused about why they set that last zip strip up that way. This does not look good from any angle. Um, obviously, uh, you can have tattoos. Part of the police force. <laughs> Part of the police force? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. At least I have to grandfather people in. Like, if you already had one, like, five years ago, you couldn't get any more or whatever. I don't know what they're doing now. Okay. Right here, this is the worst setup so I've ever candy. seen. It's awful. I don't have to be in Where's the keys? You got the keys in it? I don't have a vehicle. 
Good sticks. We got a, you got the keys in it. You can't get out of here. And if these are off-duty cops, then they were like, hey, just help us out. Put, put a line of traffic here. I don't know if they do that or not, but uh, it's horrible. That's absolutely horrible. That's like, that's like uh, you know, in train accidents, let's say if there's a train accident that's going this way, you don't want to be over here. You want to be over here. So if there's a train accident going this way, it's going to cause all kinds of damage going this way. You, I mean, unless he's trying to create a blockade here, but you don't put civilians in, in harm's way like that unless maybe they were volunteered. Hey, I'll do it. I don't know. That's crazy. So see, he's, gonna, he's going to go out of control. It's guaranteed once you hit those strips, you're, you're, you're done. <clears throat> and, it, and it starts to go right. There's no way to guarantee which way he goes either. And it's just going to take... We got to take the whole thing. There's no way that guy survived. I don't know if any civilians died. Um, but I think they get into his car. I think they start talking to him a bit. You know, show me what, show me your hands, I think they say a couple times. Move that computer, Jake. That whole thing will swing out of the way. At least it would have. The back ain't gonna fucking do it. If we get this computer out of the way, you should be able to pull him out. Yeah, I'm this They don't have anything more than little bottles of water to put the fire out. Well, that's what I got. That's all I got for that one.